So you're interested in becoming an x-ray tech. An x-ray tech or x-ray technologist is sometimes called a radiographer. They may also be called radiologic technologists, a rad tech, an x-ray technologist, or an x-ray technician. All of these titles refer to someone who is professionally trained to take x-rays and perform other x-ray-based diagnostic imaging procedures within the medical field. So what exactly do radiographers do? A radiographer creates images of inside the human body. This is a very dynamic and high-demand profession. Radiographers work in urgent cares. They may work in emergency rooms. Some radiographers work in surgical departments and also all through the hospital performing x-rays with portable machines. Radiographers can also be found within doctor's offices and chiropractor offices. Radiographers may even travel to people's homes and care facilities to perform x-ray imaging. Radiographers are trained to capture images of just about every part of the human body. Some of the most common radiographs performed are on the chest, the abdomen, and of the extremities, like the hands and the feet. Radiographers are also trained to perform a special kind of imaging called fluoroscopy. This is sometimes called dynamic imaging. This is real-time images that are acquired when the patient is being examined by a doctor. Fluoroscopy procedures may include drinking special dyes or injection with special dyes. Radiography is actually one of many types of different imaging professions. Many radiographers also get training to perform computed tomography or magnetic resonance imaging, abbreviated MRI. Others may get trained to perform mammography, which is x-ray imaging of the breast. Some radiographers continue on to get training in sonography. That's the same as ultrasound. Some radiographers may get trained in what we call nuclear medicine. Together, these different types of imaging disciplines and many more are called diagnostic imaging or medical imaging. As a general radiographer, also called an RT, you can work in several different settings. About 70% of all radiographers work in hospitals, 20% work in small clinics, and the remaining 10% work in private offices like doctor's offices and chiropractor offices. Another type of radiographer is a limited radiographer called an LMRT or sometimes LXMO. They do not usually work in hospitals due to state regulations. Instead, a limited radiographer usually works in imaging centers, doctor's offices, or chiropractor's offices. So how do you become a general radiographer? You have to complete an accredited program. General radiographers require about two years of specific radiography training. You'll usually earn an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree by the end of the program. Limited radiography programs are different. They require only one year of training, and by the end you'll earn a certificate, not usually a degree. These programs offer training in specific areas of radiography, but not everything. You may learn to perform radiography on one body section, like the chest, but not the entire body. So as a student in either of these programs, here's what you'll learn. You'll learn how to communicate with patients. You'll also learn how to position patients for x-ray procedures. You'll learn how to operate an x-ray machine, and you'll learn how to work as a team with other medical professionals. A really big part of radiography school is what we call clinicals. This is where you take what you've learned in the classroom and put it to practice on real patients at hospitals or imaging clinics. You'll work side by side with licensed radiographers every day, and eventually you'll have to complete evaluations or competencies on the most common exams to prove that you're actually capable of doing the job of a radiographer. The last step in becoming a radiographer is passing the National Certification Exam in Radiography. This exam is about 200 questions on everything that you've learned in school. Most radiography programs provide some type of prep course or prep courses to get you ready for the registry certification exam. There's also other resources available like preparatory books as well as online programs and online message boards that students commonly use to help each other get ready for the certification exam. So you need one more reason to look into radiography as a career. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics estimates that medical imaging will grow by 9% over the next 10 years. 
That means many job opportunities are available in this dynamic career. So if you like helping people, you like working in a team, and you want to be in a healthcare setting, radiography might be the right profession for you.